I would like to say good morning to lecturer Yuhan and all our classmates. Here is the presentation of the book review and the title of the book that I chose for my presentation is Happiness Now. This book was written by Andrew Matu. He is an Australian. So before I go to the contents of my presentation, let's talk a bit about the author. Andrew Matu is an Australian. He is an international best-selling author, speaker, and coach. So if you want to know more about him, you can go to his website that I put here. So because it is about reading and some writings from the book, so I would like to share with you a quote saying that reading is power. So the more we read, the more we have power. Here are the contents of my presentation. The first one, I am going to talk about the first chapter of the book. And just to let you know that my presentation is not uh, the detail of the book. It is just a brief summary. If you are interested in reading or knowing more in detail, you can go and find the book that I will put the link for you at the end of my presentation. So the first chapter is Your Philosophy. The second one is One Day at a Time. The third one, Law of Life, Friends and Family, Success Strategy. And I will conclude my presentation uh, with a conclusion. So now, the first chapter of the book is about Your Philosophy. Philosophy here, it's mm, like our thinking what we think or what we believe. So the author has mentioned in his book that our personal philosophy is the lens through which we view every problem and every opportunity. It is true that in our life, we might see things differently. Some people, they see things as a problem and some they see as the opportunity. So it depends on our philosophy. So the first chapter will uh, talk briefly about our philosophy, our belief. So it linked to a quote that I would like to share with you, the quote of the Buddha that he said that the mind is everything. If you think positive, um, positive thing will happen more often because you are what you think. It become more reality when you focus on uh, positive or negative. And now let's move to the second chapter, which is about one day at a time. In this chapter, the author wants to share with us the power of present moment. So we need to focus on in the present moment. So there are many uh, challenges, there are many problems in, in life. We actually cannot deal with those problems all at a time. So we need to focus one by one, okay? So the author advised us to do uh, our best effort until the bedtime. So from the morning until the bedtime, we just try our best to do it, to perform our job, or our duty, and let tomorrow take care of itself. This mean that we need to focus on what we are doing right now, not think so much of the past or about the future. We have to focus on what we are doing. It is not about the age, that is about your attitude that makes you happy. This is true that uh, the author have, has um, read on a study that uh, the study among the people in with the different age, but the result come up it is not related to the age but related to the attitude how we think or how we react to the thing that has happened your happiness is how you think about what happened to you this is true that one thing happens some people might think that it is bad but some people might think that it is a lesson that they need to learn to be to avoid it in the future or to you know to deal with it 
to improve themselves so this is the different thing that people have so one day at a time just focus on the, pro the present moment and deal with the problem one by one the third chapter of the book is about law of life and this is the thing that can make our life happy so how i would like to take some you know uh, topic uh, within the chapter the first one is self-talk it is important how we talk to ourselves it is very very important if we just talk something bad about ourselves it kind of make us feel bad or feel unsatisfied with our life as well this is about the power of the word that we use so be careful with the words the second one is about setting goal this is one of the most a uh, common thing that many successful people, all the successful people they have, no one can achieve goal without setting goal. So how? What What is your goal in life? We have to, to set goal. The third one is about commitment. We have to have a strong commitment in doing the thing that we want, that we need, that we want to become true in our life. If we have goal and we don't have a commitment so how can we achieve our goal the first one is about why thinking positive the author advises us to think positive because it can help us happy and the last one is peace of mind so peace of mind uh, people might think happiness come from different things for example like some people they might think that when they win a lottery they might be happy uh, when they have a lot of money, they have new house, a new car, new material, they are happy, they, they have peace in mind. But uh, according to the author, he said that we just love what we have and, uh, you know, be happy in the present moment. Just close our eyes and think of what we have also can ha help us to be happy. So these are choosing that is a law of life that has mentioned in the book come to the fourth chapter which is about friends and family friend and family he referred to the relationship how to be relationship with um, people and we start from people that we live with for example like our parents our brother and sister like that so in the chapter has mentioned about forgive people actually some people might think that it is good for people that be forgive too, but the author just mentioned that you do it for your own benefit. Those who benefit from forgiveness is we ourselves. I mean, the people that forgive others, they get uh, happiness in their life. They do not live with suffer. Okay, and present, present. We need to give uh, some gift to. Maybe our friends, those who have wives or husband or couple, they give some reason. And he mentioned that it is not about the cost. Uh, it doesn't matter it is cheap or expensive, but as long as we give something to people, they are happy. So, yeah, they can build a good relationship with them. The last one that I would like to share with you is the word that we say, I love you. I love you. This word is powerful. And he said that if it is difficult, if it is hard to say I love you, first you can say thank you to, to that person. So first start with the word thank you. And from time to time, you develop your breath, your encouragement. So you can say the word I love you. And this word can be a good relationship. Come to the last chapter of the book, which is success strategies. So success strategy, I think all people want success in life, so what to do in order to be success? I would like to raise some point. The first one, we need to know what is most important. Yes, there are many things in our life, so we have to know what is the most important thing that we should do. We should focus on that come to the next one, focus on what we want. Some people just think, many things uh, within a day uh, sometimes they forget to think what they want they just think and talk nonsense of many things that they see 
or they press in their life but they forget to focus on what they want so if we want to be success we have to you know focus on what we want and your best whatever we set as goal we have a commitment to do it we focus on it we have to do our best we have to do our best to do uh, the thing that we want and the last one is quit when you have done the author said that uh, the best time to to stop doing something is when we have done it if we have not completed successfully just keep doing it uh, maybe at the first time you cannot do it well but for the second time or third time just keep doing it uh, you will be about to do it better and you, you you can't stop doing it when you have done it okay so this is the conclusion of my presentation i would like to say thank you very much for everyone for being here and the title of the book is happiness now we cannot wait for tomorrow or the day after tomorrow to be happy if you want to be happy just happy now and here are the content of my presentation again if you are interested in reading the book you can go to the link that i put in my presentation or you can comment give the comment i can share the link with you as well and thank you very much if you have any comments or any question please write down below thank you